Thank you for taking an interest in learning more about our upcoming facilities improvements and contractor opportunities at Long Beach Unified. The purpose of this presentation is to share information related to our building program, current program goals and priorities, active and upcoming construction work, and relative information that will be helpful to those wishing to partner with the district. As part of this presentation, we will also provide an update on our new Community Workforce Development Agreement and discuss how your company can become a prospective bidder. We pride ourselves on keeping our contractor community informed about upcoming projects that are planned throughout the district, and we hope you enjoy this presentation. Our facilities team strives to plan for and provide efficient, safe, and inviting schools that support excellent learning environments. We support approximately 70,000 students across 85 schools within our 51 square mile boundary. Our school district serves the cities of Long Beach, Lakewood, Signal Hill, and Avalon on Catalina Island. While we've added new schools and buildings on existing campuses over the years, the average age of our school facilities is still 62 years old. The facilities branch oversees a $3.1 billion building program, which is one of the largest in the state. Measure K is a 2008 ballot initiative that makes available $1.2 billion to renovate and build schools within the district. Measure E funds an additional $1.5 billion to make critical repairs, enhance technology, and install, replace air conditioning and other infrastructure improvements to aging campuses. We regularly review and monitor expenditures for all projects which require meticulous record keeping and continuous budget balancing. We pride ourselves on being good stewards of public funds and are pleased that for the seventh straight year, an outside audit firm has given the district the highest ratings for financial accountability and performance. One of the primary focuses of Measure E is the installation of new or replacement air conditioning systems and other major infrastructure improvements at the 54 campuses where air conditioning was outdated or non-existent. As of today, one-third of the planned air conditioning projects are in progress or complete. The modernization projects include not only new central heating air conditioning systems, but also utility infrastructure and accessibility upgrades, electronic classroom projectors, new lighting, windows, paint, and other necessary repairs. Each modernized classroom includes ceiling-mounted speakers situated throughout the room so that every student in the classroom is engaged and can hear the teacher's instruction regardless of where they are seated in the room. Students and the community are also enjoying more track and field time on all-weather turf being installed at all Long Beach Unified Secondary Schools. Work is in progress or complete at six schools thanks to funding from Measure E. While there is focus on air conditioning and classroom modernization, it is also important to have adequate space for play, physical education, and competitive athletics. A new track and field is currently being completed at Millican High School, and a similar project is scheduled to begin at Lakewood High School in early 2021. In our continued effort to serve the well-rounded student and student-athlete, we are also planning to build new aquatic centers at Lakewood, Millican, Wilson, Jordan, and Poly High Schools. The aquatic center projects consist of constructing a new 50-meter pool and adding a new building that contains locker rooms, restrooms, showers, offices, pool machine room, chemical storage, and pool equipment storage. Lighting and spectator bleachers are also included as part of each project. We are also planning on repurposing the existing natatoriums which are inside existing buildings. These will differ by site, however, a sample project would include infilling the old pool areas and installing a multi-purpose flooring system over the area to create a multi-use gym. Our district uses various constructive delivery methods and carefully considers project complexities, budget, and schedule for each respective project prior to making a final decision on which approach to take. Lease, lease back has been one of our primary delivery methods, and while we have a pre-qualified list of 10 construction firms, we offer many opportunities to perform work on these types of projects at the subcontractor level. The traditional design bid build approach is still used on several projects, and CM, multi-prime, and design build are utilized as alternatives, albeit on less frequent basis. Additional information on pre-qualification will be shared later in this presentation. The following 10 construction firms have been school board approved as pre-qualified lease leaseback providers for Long Beach Unified. These firms competed and met the district's criteria to be pre-qualified to perform work, and they also compete once prior to being awarded an individual project. We have completed several projects at many campuses throughout the district with these firms, and we focused our efforts on implementing lessons learned into our projects along the way. We can provide contact information on these firms upon request. Today, more than 13,800 students in 538 classrooms on 23 campuses 
are already benefiting from completed Measure E campus upgrades. Although all schools in the district are currently closed for in-person instruction, construction work on campuses that are undergoing renovations or additions has continued without interruption. We are working hard to balance the health and welfare of workers with the need to maintain construction schedules that enable students to return to classrooms when ready. There are over one dozen projects currently underway and all workers are complying with government orders for appropriate distancing and protective gear. The major projects currently in the works are listed on this slide. The district has implemented a process of planning and executing projects according to a master schedule approved by the Board of Education. Several projects are scheduled to begin construction over summer 2021. In addition, several more projects are in final designs in order to start construction in 2022. Many of our projects are phased in order to maintain regular operation of the school. Improvements in kitchen and cafeteria facilities are often prioritized over the summer to ensure food service to students is uninterrupted during the school year. In total, we anticipate completing over $200 million in construction work within the next couple of years. Over the years, our focus has remained to hire as many local contractors, subcontractors, and business partners for work performed under the bond program. We have procedures in place to encourage local source hiring and local business participation on all school bond projects. The district collects data to monitor performance on its program goals and regularly exceeds 20% local hire metrics. To further these efforts, in early 2020, the school board approved a five-year Community Workforce Development Agreement, CWDA, with the Los Angeles and Orange Counties Building and Construction Trades Council. The agreement increases our local hiring goals and also includes many additional benefits for the Long Beach community. Long Beach Unified is happy to partner with the Trades Council and unions to ensure that our students and local community receive maximum benefit from this agreement. The agreement authorizes a pilot program that includes student employment goals, local community employment goals, worksite conditions, worker qualifications, dispute resolution processes, and other specifications that apply to designated school bond projects worth about $400 million. The agreement provides calls for the Trades Council to fund an apprenticeship coordinator who would match LBUSD high school students with internships and pre-apprenticeship opportunities. Also, district graduates would be given priority access to apprenticeship programs and a building trades scholarship program would be funded for disadvantaged students. The listed projects are subject to the terms of our Community Workforce Development Agreement, including the goal of pursuing local residents to fill 40% of all labor and craft positions. The first two projects that will start construction as part of this project list are Jordan High Phase 2B and the Wilson High Aquatics Complex. We anticipate starting the Jordan Phase 2B in mid to late 2021, and the project includes the demolition of multiple buildings and construction of a new two-story classroom building, parking lot modifications, a new lunch shade structure, concrete paving, planters, landscaping, and a new student courtyard. If you are interested in bidding on Long Beach Facilities projects, all the relevant information can be found on Planet Bids, and a link is available off of the district's lbschoolbonds.net webpage. Be sure to register on Planet Bids to receive notifications of upcoming bid opportunities. Registration as a California Uniform Construction Cost Accounting Act contractor is required to bid on a project with a cost estimate of $60,000 to $200,000. Contractors, subcontractors required to be pre-qualified or needing to renew their pre-qualification status must submit a complete pre-qualification questionnaire packet through www.qualitybidders.com no later than 10 business days prior to the bid opening on any advertised project in order to qualify to bid on that project. It is the responsibility of the contractor submitting the bid to ensure all subcontractors are pre-qualified prior to the bid opening. If it is found that a contractor has listed a subcontractor in their bid that utilizes any of the licenses required to be pre-qualified and is not pre-qualified with the district for five business days prior to the bid opening, the contractor's bid will be rejected and deemed non-responsive. Pre-qualification approvals remain valid for one calendar year from the date of approval. Long Beach Unified School District invites licensed contractors to participate and be subject to the California Uniform Public Construction Cost Accounting Act, CUPCCAA, pursuant to Public Contract Code 22030-22045. Interested contractors are required to apply online and follow the instructions in order to be considered for the district's list of approved qualified contractors. Owner-Controlled Insurance Program, OCIP, is a single consolidated insurance program that ensures the contractor and subcontractors and other designated parties for work performed on the site. 
At the time of enrollment, you must have a 1.24 or less experience modification rating. OCIP covers only the work performed on-site and includes workers' compensation, general liability, and excess liability. The SOLAS Group has been contracted by the district to monitor, track, and enforce compliance with state prevailing wage requirements, skilled and trained workforce requirements, and the district local source hiring and local business participation. Prior to the start of work, the SOLAS Group will conduct a pre-construction meeting to discuss the requirements being enforced and monitored. Contractors and subcontractors can expect to be provided a submittal schedule for documents, document templates for the areas being monitored, and how those documents are to be submitted for a contractor to be deemed as compliant. Any further training for subcontractors who need it will be available. Contractors are required to register with the DIR to be able to perform on public works projects. Applications and annual renewals are completed online and you can reach out to the school district's facilities contracts division for additional information. It is required by the Labor Commissioner that all contractors and subcontractors working on public works projects must submit electronic certified payroll records. The DIR has a simple online reporting format located on the DIR website under the Public Works section. The district's third-party labor compliance monitoring consultant will also ensure that public works contractors pay prevailing wages and are in compliance with public works laws. California Education Code 17407.5 requires that a contractor and their subcontractors entering into an agreement with the district will use a skilled and trained workforce to perform all work on a project or contract that falls within an apprenticeable occupation in the building and construction trades in accordance with the Public Contract Code 2600. Contractors will provide LBUSD a monthly report demonstrating compliance with the skilled and trained requirements. LBUSD's local source hiring procedure commits a contractor to make faith outreach efforts to local residents residing within the areas served by the district. Local source hiring will be tracked using certified payroll to ensure accuracy and will be reported on a monthly basis. Reports will also cover any good faith efforts taken by contractors to advance the employment of local residents. A great resource for student interns is the Long Beach Career Linked Learning, which is a nonprofit organization that supports the Long Beach College Promise by helping prepare students to be ready for college and career. You can request an intern by visiting the website provided on the slide or calling 562 997 8000, extension 6492. If you have questions, you can send an email to lbschoolbonds at lbschools.net or call us at 562 997 7550. Please also take time to visit our website and follow us via social media. Thank you for taking time to learn more about our building program and your continued support as we work to build on success and improve all of our LBUSD schools.